Hey, what is up guys? My name is Rahul and in this video, we'll be looking at some of the challenges in the web category of the UTCTF Capture the Flag competition. So let's begin with Oinker. So I found this cool more private alternative to Twitter. So let's open it up a new tab. So the first thing that I tried was script. Look for any access vulnerabilities, but I found nothing as it was rendering it as simple text. So but the next thing I noticed was there were numbers in the URL. So what I did was I typed in zero, nothing, it got me nothing. Then I went one, two, and this was the flag for the challenge. Since the CTF has already ended, I cannot enter the flag as it wouldn't give me any points. So let's try the next one, which is source it. So can you see how this place handles the authentication? So let's open it up and as it said source it. So let's view the source code. Control U. And as you can see, the username is given away admin and the hash is this particular value and the hashed password means the string password would be cryptojs.md5. So this appears to be an md5 hash. So what we can do is we can go to crack station and try to crack it. So let's paste it. I'm not a robot and crack hashes. So as we can see that the password is Sherlock. So the username appears to be admin and the password is Sherlock. So access granted UT flag been there source that. So this was the flag for the challenge. Now the next one is just the cutest cookie clicker ripoff. I built this awesome game based off of cookie clicker, but you'll never beat my highest score. So he he. So let's try to beat his highest score. So the thing in this is whenever you click on the cookie, your score increases by a factor of one. So or your fact or your score increments by one but the highest score is one cents hundred thousand lakh ten lakh so i'm sure that we cannot make it ten lakh in a second so what we can do is look for cookies so storage there's nothing but let's see what happens okay so as you can see the highest score turns out to be 55 so what i did was i changed its value to this it's certainly more than 10 lakh so let's see and there we go this was the flag for the challenge okay So the next one is fast fox let's see what the challenge prompt says help me show bob how slow his browser is so let's open it up in new tab bob used a really old version of firefox so i figured out i would show him how slow it is by letting anyone submit javascript for him to run just put your javascript in below and bob will run it as his outdated browser so console.log hello world and there we go so what i did next was i thought that the flag would be somewhere in a file so there are two things that are to be needed first the name of the file and the second the script that would help me get the file so what i did was i went to google and typed in how to read files using javascript and the first link that appeared to be was from geeks for geeks This doesn't appear to be it so in a directory so this is it const path is equal to required path let's see if require is there so what i did was const path require path and as you can see it said that require is not defined so this is what was happening so i typed in alert one it said that alert is also not defined so I went for a hint as we are noobs. So I saw view hint 
and it took me to a new website and this was it js shell so this website was running js shell so what i did was i downloaded it unzipped it and it is in my downloads directory now and i i made a flag.txt file and it said not by flag so i typed in js and docs are really necessary so i typed in js shell docs and it took me to github and these are some of the commands that i can that i can use so help is one of them so i typed in help and these are the some of the commands i tried many of them but only one worked for me so i'll be showing it to you which ones i typed so let me show you to first help just a proof of concept yeah this works so the first one was load so load can load in files so i typed load flag.txt and as you can see it took me the flag flag you did not just bug or not and if you are wondering how I got the name of the file first it was guesswork and the second thing was if you look at the third hint it says that the flag is stored at flag.txt file so ladies and gentlemen this is the flag for the challenge but there's another method to try it so if I go to help there is a library which is OS So this is it os so what i did was os dot os dot system so i did was os dot system ls tag alps so i wouldn't even be needing the hint for this it will fetch you everything that is there including flag.txt file so cat and this is it this is the flag for the challenge so thank you guys this is it for the video i hope you liked it if you did like it please press on the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you